welcome back in this video we are going to see about input and output functions in python usually in every programming languages we are giving the input to the programming language and then we can get the output what are the ways to use input and output functions let's see in python we have two predefined function of using input and output for using input function we have the input and for the output purpose we can use print function so these two functions are predefined function in python so in for getting input from the user we just use the input function for getting output from the device we can use the print function so that is the syntax for the input function look at the syntax variable is equal to input prom string prom string is nothing that means for example name is equal to input of enter your name so it prompts to enter your name during the runtime of the program so this is called prompt string during the output it prompts to enter that means enter your name if you enter your name as some string value that string value will be assigned to the variable name so this is a normal syntax for input so that without prompt string also we can give the input function let's see that here there are two types of examples of input functions the first example the input function without the prompt string and in the second example input function with the prompt string so that we doesn't know what type of the input we can give here so that simply i'll give just chennai as the input string as soon as if we enter the chennai the output will produced as i am chennai okay let's come to the second example it prompts to enter your name so that the user can know 100% we want to give a name as an input for example if i enter a name as arun here here the value arun will assign to the variable name as soon as we enter here the output will be i am arun so look at the both of the outputs it's a meaningful output here there is no meaning without prompt if we enter whatever it may be that value will be comes to the variable name so that simply i am chennai i am chennai is the meaningless word but here arun i am arun it's a meaningful input so that usually we have to give the input function with the prompt strings so this is the usage of the prompt string in input function another example so look here name is equal to input enter your name and then age is equal to input enter your age as soon as we receive this prompt string we just enter our name as and 17 input has the property that we must be aware of that means in python everything will treat as the string in input function so that here the 17 is the integer value up to the user but the python take this value 17 as the string if you want to use that means arithmetic expression for age plus equal to 1 if you want to increment the age 17 to 18 it will show an error that means type error will be erased so that we have to make a typecast of str to int so that we can be rewritten the statement as age is equal to int of input of enter your age so that after the statement we can give the age plus equal to 1 so that the age 17 plus 1 incremented by 1 so that the age is equal to 18 we can do this or simply age is equal to int of age this is also a type cast so converting str data type into integer is called typecasting 
which you had learned in the previous video itself so the typecasting i just once again remind typecasting means we can convert a particular data type into some other data type is said to be the typecasting so many typecastings are there it will be explained later with this example we can see what are the possible errors we are facing through the input function so look here here also the typecasting has been done that means the string data type will be converted into in so that it will prompt to enter your age so that if the user enters as 17 or 16 whatever it may be as a numeric value it doesn't shows any error instead of using this if the user enter as 17 like this it will show an error because 17 is the string value but we had convert the string value into integer so that type error will be occurred here we see another type of example here if we use 17.5 instead of using 17 also it shows a type error because even 17.5 is a numeric value but it's a floating type of value here we convert it as in in case if we convert age is equal to float of age then the value is accepted and then if we use 0.17 it will be accepted or 17 point it will be accepted because of the float okay so when the float conversion will throw an error 17.5.0 something like that it will show an error message because this is not a proper floating type of value for this data type float so such a type of familiar errors we are facing so we should be very careful to give the input to the input function and then next we are going to see about the print function for output output function we can use print function for output so this is the syntax look at the syntax print objects separator scp is said to be the separator and n for the slash n purpose for example if we want to print the statement in the next line we can use the slash n so note that every optional box that means the array bracket is said to be the optional area that means which may or may not be used so that here some of the examples are there in print function see my name is amit so look here there is no space in between my name is amit we just my comma name comma is comma amit four type of values can be given inside the print function with the comma separator so the output is my name is amit with a fabulous spaces by default the separator function can use the space in between two values in the print function instead of using this if we use my name is amit with the parameter separator and if we use the special character hyphen it will produce the hyphen for every value my name is amit so this is the output for the statement print my name is amit everything is a separate value which is separated by a comma but here the parameter separator contains the hyphen if we change the special character into asterisk we can see the output also here produced as asterisk it's a wonderful thing you know so next i'm going to explain about the n parameter here there is another example for n parameter so look here in python by default if it doesn't use n parameter for slash n it will print as it is my name is amit and in the next line my age is 17 will be printed if we use the n parameter here comma n is equal to slash n the same will be obtained so look at this example i'm using n parameter here without using slash n if we use hyphen and greater than symbol for arrow mark purpose it will produce my name is amit and at the end of this statement the special character will be appear and my age is 17 will be appeared here that means what is the difference between separator and n in both the cases we are using the special character but make sure that separator will separate each value with the given special character if you use separator that means SEP here at the end of each value it will produce my arrow mark name arrow mark is Amit but here the name of the parameter is end at the end of this line we can insert the special character and without 
the statement print in the next line it will be printed in the previous line also with the given special character arrow mark so many cases are there in input and output functions so in the upcoming videos we can see more and more programs related to the input and output functions until then stay tuned and thank you for watching